My name is Reginald Ignatius III, and you have stumbled across the Latency Alley. Don't let the name confuse you. Yes, as the Nexus grows, Kira and John, Daniel and Nathan now bowl balls down long lanes with conversations about video games that you're to entertain. Oh, so sit back, relax, listen to the live music from the Ice Tea Fanatics, and let yourself be whisked away. Production. Where is my woman? I don't know. Where is Lisa? Where, Lisa. where, where is Bat? Bat? Where are they? Where have they gone? Where have you taken them down to the circus of hell? I don't like this bit. Where is home? <laughs> ah! Oh no, Marge Simpson just fell down a trap door. Good. <laughs> Frankly, <laughs> I was not ready for a photorealistic Marge Simpson <laughs> in the lanesy alley. Yeah, this time of night. Bowling balls down the lane? She didn't touch any balls. She just she came out of the bed. them as she was shouting for her true love, homie. Where do he be? Is he under this seat? Don't look under the chair. No, no! Don't! <laughs> Keep him under there. <laughs> what up, bitches? March Here and thank you, please. Oh. Faye John fucking love that. Huh? Faye John loved that. John I did not. I was not prepared. I didn't like March Simpson. I could go get her. No. You want to speak to mine? Yeah, thank you. I'll get her out of the trap. <laughs> yep, come on up, you come. Oh, no. Where are you, me? Are you going through? Yeah, voice is going. Oh, me. It's me, Matt. Matt Simpson. Where is Omni? Omni. Your voice is like on the show. He must go all in it on the TV show. This is fucking terrible. Hey John, I'll agree with you. We should have brought her. Maybe yeah. <laughs> you should go back in the hole before you heard your voice. It's homey down in the hole. Yeah, yes. probably. Homey. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Are you happy now, Nathan? Where'd you go? I don't know. No, no. Man, she's back in the trap. Yeah. Welcome back to the Latency Lounge, also known as the Latency Alley. We're here in the middle of limbo, in the middle of the in-between, in a space we can't quite control and which John seems to have full autonomy over. Yeah, it is a bit interesting because now the end of the alley has a nice fire. That's neat. I like that. I think I was here last time. Yeah, it was, yeah. No, it was Skyrim last time. They were projecting still images of Skyrim over the lanes. But no, now each lane, at the end of each lane, there is a fire. It's a nice fire. It warms the place up. I am a little concerned that there is a fire. 
Yeah, but they can't pay their heating bills. It's slowly I mean, it was getting chilly. taking over. Oh, look! XXX18.in <laughs> adult dating chat is, uh, is posted in the, uh, in the fire. Oh, oh. There's a nice spam time. bot in the fire. Why are you letting spam bots in here, Joe? You control this. I don't know. Are you taking outside currency? Funding? For this? I don't know what you're talking about. But if I did know what you talked about, I mean, it does take a I would say things. that sometimes you gotta pay the bills. <sighs> Very true. And it's not like the residents of this place are paying any rent or anything. Okay, well. They're paying. Do they not pay per, you know, bowling session? What's it called? What's a game of bowling? Have you paid for What's any amount of bowling? A lane of no. bowling? We have drunk an, uh, an insane amount of cum, though. Have you paid for any of it? No, I thought it was kind of like how we paid. Yeah. That's why drinking so, down the supply. No. Okay. So why are we drinking cum then? <laughs> yeah. You tell me. Well, well, this is right. yeah, yeah. There are other options. You oh. orchestrated this. You, you thing. always brought the cum. What? No? Yes. No, 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 Jerry did. Oh, sorry. Should we get Jerry in? I haven't seen him in a while, actually. Yes, Jerry's been absent for a while. <laughs> I, don't... <laughs> I don't think Jerry wants to arrive today. <laughs> No, I think Jerry. Jerry and Marge Simpson could have quite a good conversation. No, they couldn't. <laughs> I can't see that going. Gov really doesn't like cu- Jerry the cum fairy. Or Marge. Yeah. <laughs> Marge is a bit strange. Yeah. She's been trapped in that house. Does she have a job? Um, I think she's done odd bits and pieces. She sort of like helps out here and there. Yeah. I mean, she's like... The fact that they've still got their house going when Homer Simpson is... Kind of shows how the show has really aged. But like even when it came out, like Marge is just like a housewife. Yeah, Yeah, single income family, Mm -hmm. that massive house. Mm -hmm. But the baby's still with two, two cars, plenty seasons. Yeah, very seasons. Yeah, it's kind of timeless, is the idea. It's stupid. It is stupid. There is no plot per se. It's just this, just monster of the week. Yeah, pretty much. So. What's the monster of this week in the latency lounge? The only podcast which talks about video games in a completely hypothetical surround. That is very true. We should get something for that. We don't want... We don't know it's the only one. <laughs> if, right. If there's another podcast that copies this format exactly, I'll be fucking surprised. <laughs> Each, yeah, it is a pretty like <laughs> and throwing random ass characters to Suboptimal <laughs> format. It's almost like this isn't being done for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> but we talk about video games. And well, sometimes we have guests. Yeah. I think we have a guest right now. Who we go? Yeah, it's me. Oh cool, yeah. Well it's John. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm the guest. Why are we interviewing you today? What have you done, eh? I've been playing a video game. Oh, do we have to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> it means we don't have to talk to guests. <laughs> okay, we'll bring the guest in. Now. <laughs> so what have you been playing, John, now? I think I can guess. It's the Viking game. It's the game we've all been playing. <laughs> yeah, we all can't talk about the same game. Yeah, we can. I have another game I can talk about. Okay. Do you? Possibly. No. Yeah, no, I, I'll do it. Yeah, do it. No, wait. Yes, yes, I do. No, this is the Valheim special episode. Where we... We, we have all been playing Valheim together. And it was a very fun and game. And we're going to play more, and we're going to yeah. emigrate to my world. Actually, we <laughs> wait, what's wrong with my world? <laughs> We've made a fair fun. bit of progress. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, there's, there's the fishing man, oh, the goodness. trader. We should really go to Kieran's world because and we should, and steal everything. Well, no, because we bring the ship because we're strong and the swamps might not scare us as much. The oh, swamps still scare me. I'm full bronze armor, am I? So are we? Sorry, my <laughs> <laughs> use life just for me. I know. That's sort of what John is now. <laughs> he might have iron. I'm actually, I went back to troll armor because I like the stealth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get better sneak attacks, and also abominations don't hunt you as much. We've been playing Valheim, and John is 
unashamedly addicted. Yeah, for a man who joined our, our original game, who was clearly there to just make fun. Reluctant to join, and then... <laughs> Bro, dear! And then has become addicted to the game. <laughs> I didn't realise how fun, like, the building was. Yeah. I, I, I play the game mostly so I can build. Yeah. The building is pretty fun, but the amount of sheer bases people I've seen people build in like Viking style like huts they've gone through and made. Yeah, like my first base was like a is like a, a long house. Yeah. Which is good. It's too small now, as Nathan will agree. Because he sleeps like <laughs> on the floor the in oh. front of the fire under the stairs, yeah. But that's only because I mean there is a bedroom, but it's not warm enough for him. So no. Valheim, if you don't know, is um it's it's a third a, person a Viking game. But sandbox. Yeah, it's a sandbox with like real nice graphics. I like, think it's in early access as well. Like it's yeah, still, it's not still, on like, full release yeah. yet. It's on zero point two something. Holy cow. Yeah. How much more do they plan on out on? Quite there's I think there's like three or four more biomes that they're working on one. Damn. Yeah. Alright. It's, uh, it's like a desert one. So. It's a yeah. sandbox Minecraft type base builder just sort of level up your stuff with different biomes and all that but like genuinely looks fucking beautiful it's got this weird like low poly count thing going on yeah. but it works really well yeah but it's very ambient some things are more like the water is more realistic but it fits and the lighting works really well with the the lighting is very fucking beautiful especially when you run into the metals and it's sunny and it's just like uh, sometimes nice though I'll be like trying to aim my arrow and there'll be like the sun in my eyes <laughs> <laughs> and this like, is great. I'm being, you know, the great dwarfs around me I guess. I, I quite like the way the game progresses is through bosses and biomes and type stuff. So you start in meadows and you move, you kill the first boss mm. in the yeah. meadows which is the... The deer elk thing? here, giant yeah. here, yeah. And then you move on, what's after that? The elder. The elder which is in... The dark forest. dark forest, and then the next one after that is the bone mass, which is the swamp. I don't Did know. Did you do I, that? Hell no. No, you haven't done. No, that. I'm not going to do that with hurt people anyway. Oh, I'll, kill give, them. I'll give you a hand on that because it either, from what I've heard, he doesn't take arrow damage. We should really so, do a land party stream. Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. we can switch between desktops. Well, it should like be a, doable on a land party. Yeah, I just don't want to bring my computer through. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, if, if I ever have like a lot of money I want to build like a more portable desktop yeah. so I, I mean something that's just like briefcase size that is relatively powerful With a handle. yeah you can just and some shock absorbing corners mm. so I can just carry it and plug it in at friends TVs for stuff like that mm. I would like Valheim to be the game though where you make a world and you can jump on at any time Rather than the host of the world has to be on for it to. I think you can get dedicated servers for it. Yeah, yeah, I think. So you, you can, can get it set up to like pay that. For it, probably. Like well, yeah. I mean, you can get it hosted. Yeah. You can probably download the tool, but if you're downloading, you have you'd have to like with a Minecraft server you're hosting, you might as well just play the game. Yeah. But no, it's a very fun game, and there's a lot of aspects about it that I very much like. Such I as like um, the fighting, the the way that there is way too much shit in this game for one human being to understand what the fuck is going on, to the point where you actually get genuinely confused and he picks you up and you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh yeah, it, it's often like, is this useless? Is this great? You know mm. the ooze you get from a guy? Ooze, entrails, blood packs from the eels in the swamp. Oh, we know what to do with those. Yeah, mm. I, I figured out what to do with entrails. Did you? Sausage. Sausages <laughs> from droggers. Yeah. Drogger it's gross. You can make you can make That's the cannibalism. You can make the goo you get out of the blobs into fucking a milkshake. Jesus Christ. Gross. Uh, and then the I like how the when you progress a little bit further onto the snowy bit mm. you have to be you cannot really go there without of done it completing the first two bosses. Not because you need stuff, but mainly because you're just not built for it yet. Yeah, a lot of, like, equipment is... I mean, in terms of, like, 
getting bronze gear. That's mm. gay theft behind the first boss. Yeah, yeah it's fairly well. Same with that, iron. Right. Actually, yeah, you can't progress without defeating bosses. Yeah, no. e- each each area leads you to the next biome. Yeah, like, and, and it will give you clues as to what you need to get from that biome to progress further. But it is a time sink. Like oh yeah, it's, you, you end up it's, spending it's hours. addictive. I mean, I think the last. It's one of the few games recently where I've been like I haven't checked the clock. <laughs> yeah, it's been like two in the morning, and it's that's not happened in a while. Last time that happened was Disco Elysium, and it was like four in the morning. Oh well, like, yeah, okay. Disco Elysium just eats time. Yeah, but yeah. and like you, you feel the time passing with weird and Disco Elysium. Yeah. You just don't care. Yeah. So I got I must I must experience this. Yeah. Such a good game. With uh, well, Valen, you're kind of like oh. I'll just give myself another hour to do this and this mm-hmm. and this. And after There's that, always we, something to be done. It's, yeah. it's a very Minecraft thing where you're just like, it's a monotonous task you're doing that you enjoy because it's fun. I was like, oh, I'll build these portals between these two places just before we go. Yeah, and then you're running for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder how much, if like the game looked worse, it would be less like that. Like, because. I mean, you Minecraft to... looks garbage mostly. True, but there's enough mods at this point to make it. Like yeah, but what, even vanilla is still to. like pretty addictive. True. Mm. But yeah, yeah. Uh, it no, it, it it's more positive that Valheim looks as good as it does. Yeah. I think the mechanics are fun on their own. It's good. I would like the, I would like them to add speed of running places, like something you can possibly ride. Mounts. Yeah, like a horse. Yeah. Because you can tame animals. From breathing, mm. but it's very, very, very difficult. It takes fucking ages, unless Jonathan. Or John's got some. I've got some. Season. I've got some one star <laughs> boars breeding up. <laughs> it took forever. Yeah, it was annoying. Me. I had to run all over the map just to find some one star <laughs> boars, and I had to have them chase me, and then one ran off into the ocean and drowned. It was so annoying. Yeah, we got raided when I was on John's game. My character is currently just like a little pilgrim, and he's like. Lynching stuff from Kieran's. <laughs> yeah, you don't world. have a world of your own. I have a world of my own. I just like take what I can get but from both. I'm like, right. I'm helping. <laughs> That's also a very cool aspect that your character stays the same and your inventory stays yeah. the same no matter what fucking game you join. Yeah. yeah. So you could like just steal all the shit from mine, jump on John's, and then you'd have. All the shit that's there. I think the issue with that is what they warn you when you start an online thing is that if you die in a randoms game, I think they can pick up your inventory yeah. and yeah. then that's how you lose all your shit. Yeah. Um, but if you're playing with friends, it's not an issue. Mm. It's fun. I have to pay him in troll skins. Yeah. <laughs> and then I stole his money to buy things from a certain someone who I found. So he doesn't sell many things. He sells more as you progress. He okay. sells the most important thing. The fishing rod. Is the fishing rod actually worth it? No. Yeah. 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 Just get fish. Yeah. Yeah. Th- th- there yeah. isn't any like special fish. Every fish. Yeah, there fish. is. I got a troll fish. Right, but like it I haven't even seen what that does yet. <laughs> it doesn't do anything, is what I mean. There are different stupid. types of fish, but they're all just fish. Fun, John. I'm it's saying, ambient fun. Yeah, if you like fish, I'm good for you. I don't personally. I mean, I, unfortunately, one of my major food things is fish, so I have to fish. It's annoying, but it's fun. Okay. <sighs> I, no, I especially like though how like the way the fish shoots done is occasionally they'll just jump out the water and get stuck on a rock, and it's like yes. Yeah, they're just there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you could mess with the terrain and just the right way to make a fish trap. Be pretty good. I guess if you like create a canal. I wonder if they could, because you can dig straight yeah, down, the water like does flow. Room. So if you were to dig like from the sea to like where your base was, and then like a Yeah, I think fish get yeah. weird about where they spawn now. I think maybe the best way to do it would be like, just right at the shore to make like a bowl. So yeah. as the water, as waves happen, fish will travel oh, over into the mm-hmm. bowl, and then the wave will recede and the fish will get stuck and you just collect them then. Between waves. Mm. Something to try. See, there's quite a lot of shit you can do in this game, which is the one bad thing because you keep coming back to it. Yeah, it's mostly building. Yeah. I enjoy. I built a swamp outpost. It's gonna be good. I just like the exploring part as well, just because each map's different. It's all random seats. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I like exploring up to a point, um, but then it's just like, I can't find what I need, <laughs> and I have to keep running. Yeah, there's a certain amount of just, like, trying out different areas of the same biome to find what you need. Like, because there's, we're getting to the spoiler territory, we've already been there, but um, when you get to the swamps, you've got to find the dungeons of the swamps. Yeah. Which you get the keys for from a certain bar. Um, but it seems like the dungeons are few and far between in the swamp biome, so you've got to like explore a fuck ton of different swamps, and the swamp biomes are just miserable. Yeah, like, when you're. I, I actually kind of love it. I I, <laughs> mu I must have spent enough time. I've become like. Used to it. Time, yeah. yeah, like there is no waves. The water is just. Static. Yeah, but the, it's just, the, the, it's the weather is constantly like, grey and damp. They spawn in so much and just constantly like it's just. It's not so bad once you're established, but yeah, it's bad mm. once you arrive in a place. Because mm. if you want to go to, because you go into the mountains after the swamp, I believe. Yeah. You have to have like certain type of gear, and then it's, the, I think the main bad thing of the. Mountains is wolves, but I've heard they are. I've read they're. No, there's worse than wolves. Is it? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, you know when I got like the f crystals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I found a uh, one of the uh, mountain dungeons, like really low, yeah. close to the dark forest, just up a cliff. So I was like, I'll have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get enough of anything to make any equipment. But it was just like, ah, yes, this is terrible. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a fucking time. And yeah, so when I got to the entrance, I looked up and there was worse things. Well, I'm excited to see the new biomes that they create, especially. I would like them to do more with the ocean, but I guess that because I think the ocean is just stagnant yeah, with like the occasional the monsters would be fun. I think there is one. I remember there being something. Unfortunately, you have to be really careful about spoiling it for your friends. Oh, have you found something? I can't tell you. Ooh. Uh, I would like the pot prospect of like, I don't know, like boats. Or like, you know, like you get like just a random like ship just cutting around with like, I don't know, like a skeleton. I thought that happened. Like I thought I saw a sailing ship and yeah. I freaked out. Even you know, if it's just like a skeleton crew, like it's just... Oh, I just, I just remembered. Hmm. There's freaky shit out there. Hmm. Remember when I saw that, um... That like shaded figure in the middle of the yeah. island, and it just disappeared when and I got near it. Built a base there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't gonna, you know, free, it's free real estate. <laughs> we need somewhere to live. Mm. Yeah, that I still haven't figured that out. That's messed up. Mm. Two little Easter eggs. The game kind of has a lot of opportunities to really freak you out, though. Mm. And also, like all the all the monsters I've experienced are interesting and fun. Yeah. I mean, even like the, and also like, once you build a base, and also depending on your progress level, you'll get wave attacks. I love that. You actually have to defend your base. It's annoying because your base gets wrecked, mm. like when a troll comes and smashes yeah, your house. Yeah, yeah. John was away once, and two trolls came <laughs> while I was there. Yeah. Was it, is his base near the dark forest or in the dark forest? No, no. it's right next to the shrine. Mm. They, yeah, they'll turn up anywhere. Mm. It's depending on progress, yeah, not location. Yeah, further you go, the location based when they showed up. Nice. Steal some cum from your cum dispenser. Yeah, you can steal some cum. Thank you. <laughs> Read into that what you want. You got any more Guinness in there? No, that's oh. why I'm asking for cum. <laughs> um, is there anything you want the game to add? Well, there's a th the thing is though, I'm being very careful about discovering stuff as I discover it in game. Yeah. I haven't been looking up videos and stuff. Yeah. So I don't I fell into the trap of well, I only did that like the day the first day that me and Nathan played it. And that was because I really didn't see us playing again. So I was like, oh be curious and then I kinda went down a rabbit hole and then we ended up playing it and then you joined and then it's just continued and I was like, oh fucking Yeah. Uh, I, I, it's funny though because you have missed some things. Like the rideable animals. Yeah. There's one. Oh. So there you go. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's fast. But I answer. just want to... Because you, you can fucking find yourself spram tech for ages. Yeah. And it does get a bit repetitive. The overseas travel is relaxing. Unless you're in a storm. But it is kind of just like... 
we have a guest. Hello? It's guest tank. Oh, hello, it's me, it's me, Robert. How you doing? How you doing? It's me, Robert. Robert who? Robert Crinchin. Oh, well, we're talking about Viking game Valheim. Ah, uh, well, uh, I'm here to talk to you about my business. What's your business? I sell almost out-of-date food products Ooh. On, a, on a very reasonable price. How almost out-of-date? Well, at least one to two days before the sell-by date, if not already out-of-date, as the sell-by date is just a guideline. Well, where, where do you get these almost out-of-date products from? Mm, dumpsters. Bins. Wait, why are they why are they going why are they being thrown out before they're well, out Well, you see these supermarkets they seem to think that I feel like you've missed the point of that nah, video we watched. <laughs> it seems like these supermarkets think that if it's out of date, if it's out of date, it just goes to the bin. Yeah, but you said almost out of date. Yeah, almost out of date will throw anything out of date. Well, they led. So, so what kind of out, almost out of date things do you? Oh, I've got saffron. Saffron doesn't go out of date. I've got the tampons. They don't go out of date. I've got, I've got glasses. Glasses don't go out of date. Oh, you'd be surprised. Never seen a mouldy glass. Yeah, but it's not the glass that's mouldy. Well, in the well the you would think so, wouldn't you? Just clean your glasses. <laughs> well. You would think so, but not quite. It requires a keen eye to see the mouldy glass from the chaff. What is chaff, huh? Chaff. Well, chaff is, uh, well, the chaff I deal in is the mouldy and sort of yeah, fungus induced. And you know the wheat but what and is cut up and the, the you know the bits that get sprung out and yeah all right you know what chaff is I'll give you that one yeah, I thought I was see testing. he was trying to test me yeah, he was, yeah. but noise. it took you a minute didn't you it took me a minute it took me a minute and it always takes me a second to turn over a pot noodle two days out of date because these suckers I mean these customers will buy anything but they pot noodles want. don't even they last forever it's all dried and preserved. And that's what I tell them. You're on the right track oh, there, no. son. Would you like a job? Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> You've been looking. I've not got any job. <laughs> <laughs> you offered one, you asshole. <laughs> well, he wasn't expecting you to see it. Just seeing if yeah. you wanted one. <laughs> Keep you on the table. Good luck then. <laughs> Well, yes, yes. Is there anything I can offer you here? Is there anyone I can talk to here to sell some wares to? Do you sell cum? I sell cum. I sell out of date cum. Uh, mm. I'm pretty sure Big Mike already buys from you, though. Yeah. yeah I think we... he buys from my competitors, the fairy lot. Yeah, come well, that's just healthy capitalism. Yeah, cool. competition is good. It's always good to have competition yeah, in have any competition. line of business. Always keeps you on your toes. But, you know, when the competition sort of run the market. I mean, I, I diversified a long time ago. I used to specialise in gum. But I decided to diversify just because these cum fairies, they have such a stranglehold on the industry. I can't really get my foot in. It's that Jerry boy, he, he's good at it. He knows what he's doing. Oh, I've heard of Jerry. Yeah. I have, I've heard he talks a bit here sometimes, I don't know, I can tell him. He talks about me. No, I don't know about you, he just kind of puts around you, know. He's never missed. Mm, very interesting. What does he say? Oh, the cum. That he is the single handed greatest cum fairy. Well, I'll tell you something. Oh, I and it's really, premium cum that you I shouldn't use. really tell you this. You know, mm -hmm. you know, cum fairies, they have a lot of cum. Yes. They have a lot of cum. Some of that cum is going to go out of date. Mm -hmm. Officially out of date. That's when it falls off a truck. And mm -hmm. my boys pick it up. Sell it for cheaper? Mm -hmm. Sell it for cheaper. Mm -hmm. Turn it over. Nice little profit. John's a cum merchant. He knows. He knows all the time. You in the trade, boy? Really you in the trade? No, him and Jerry are good friends. You said you needed a job. If you're in the cum market, it seems like you've got a job. <laughs> seems like you're sorted. What's that look for, boy? 
take the Viking game. <laughs> What's this Viking I'm game? Close my eyes game. and think of it. No. It's a Viking game where you have to build a house. There's no cabinets, there's no stuff. How did I get to you then? No, 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 the door, door. was knocking. Door? Well, it was just falling asleep on my faux leather couch in my office. Fine. I seem to wake up here on the ground. Yeah. Right? The sticky ground and the bowling balls. We've all stopped, like, just what question? There's no point questioning there's anymore. There's a zap zone in the corner. And, oh, know, that's there's, neat. There's an arcade. I've never been there. Just yeah. chomps up money. Have you seen a theater boy called Daniel? Bring him back. Yeah, Daniel? Daniel? Yeah. He's been gone a long time. Yeah, I wonder where he is. Oh, fuck no, he's been lost in a while ago. Mm -hmm. mm, well, if he needs any goods, you know where to send him, Robert Krupchkin. I don't give him a shit. Yeah, take my card. John will take it, don't worry. Yeah. It's one of my fingers. You yeah, just, this is out of date. You just, <laughs> precisely, my boy. Show them the goods you're peddling. I'll see you later, I'll go take a seat. In the uh, 50s inspired diner area. Yeah. Yes. Still good out of food sometimes. Oh, mm. my specialty. Oh, that be... seems like a good place for next season. A diner, eh? Oh, what's this? Is this a trap door? What happens if I open this? No, no, please, no. Hermit. <laughs> Close it for you. you Thank you. Seem a bit demented. I'll okay. see you later. See you later. I was hoping we get an alleyway. I mean, somewhere like somewhere like I don't feel safe. I felt safe Do too. Do you really feel safe now? Yes. What if you're unsafe? There's like a filming a podcast. No, I feel like we should put a bit of suspense into it. Mm. Because there's no real danger. Or what fear. about like a runaway train? No. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you're on the train, we're good. I like that. Plus there's like the dining car. Yeah. Club car. The latency locomotive. Oh, yeah, there you works. go. That's the illustration. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you start, you know, architecting. Get that side. <laughs> this tastes like pineapple. Yeah? Yeah. Did you wash your glass? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Does it taste like tobacco? Maybe I've got COVID. <laughs> oh, please, no! Why does that taste like pineapple? Yeah. It's almost like quitting smoking enhances your taste buds. Yeah! <laughs> wow! You're just going to start fighting that you don't like things. <laughs> you'll yeah, eat an egg and you'll be like, this is why I've not been I should be eating this. <laughs> right, yeah, well. Anything else to add on the Viking game? I don't believe so, unless John's got any more. I mean, I could continue talking about it, but I choose not to. Okay. okay. Kieran, have you been playing anything other than the Viking game? Um, here and there. Let me let me get the name of on my phone because it's an early access game. Yeah. Okay. We shall wait patiently. Just talk amongst yourselves. John, mm. pick a number, one or two. Two. I've been playing Noita. Oh um, yeah, Noita. Only that roguelike 2D physics puzzle game. Yeah, I've only been playing a little bit of it. It's by the makers of Baba Is You, which is another game I played a little bit of. Yeah, that's a hard game to play. <laughs> well, Very yeah. hard game. I love my puzzle games, but Baba Is You is just another level up from that. Yeah. Noita, again, is a sort of... I mean, very, it's more sandboxy. Yeah, though. It's, it's a frustrating start from the beginning every time run. I mean, I've only just started playing it. It's been out for years. Who knows what the... the the consensus is on it now of what happens in the game but um, it's good fun I enjoy it I like my roguelites I like um, I like the, the the sort of butterfly effect nature of setting something off and everything else collapsing because of it yeah I like it it's good fun I don't really play roguelikes personally it's good for just like if you have a spare 15 minutes. I did play Risk of Rain 2. That was Risk of Rain is great. Risk one and two. two. Risk of Rain 1, I fucking love. Risk of Rain 2, I would have loved more, I think, if I had more people to play it with. So I only played it solo. 
Oh, and yeah. I think playing it solo is a lot more difficult than just than, than playing it. I think it's designed for co-op. Hmm. Um, but yeah, no, the risk of racing well, I, is I, It's only a little designed for co-op, because I remember constantly, like, accidentally snatching people's upgrade, yeah. or getting my upgrade snatched. Mm. Like, Oof. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm just bad then. Kieran, what did you want to play? I can't find it because there was another game I'll talk about that I've played recently. Okay. This is police. Oh, this is the police. Do you play as the police? You play as. So it's kind of a storyline. You can. The game has like many endings, and you could literally play it five minutes and give me the end. Or you could play the whole way through and actually complete the game. Mm-hmm. You basically are in charge of running the police department day by day and you run both day shift and night shift cool and you get a top down of like a city you have to put so like random calls will come in Mm. and you'll have to say who you want to go to what places and sometimes little so let's say a call comes in in the bottom left hand corner your police station is in the middle and it's a robbery you and they said someone with a gun so you would automatically send your two best officers down there but then there might be a like a someone's broken into a car on the top right so you mm-hmm. send your like your kind of oldest and like not so like just someone that doesn't really can deal with that but they go up there and the robbery actually ends with they catch them it's all good but the the car breaking could end up with like a gunfight or like he was two days before retiring. Yeah, and he's been shot dead, <laughs> and then you get in trouble, and that's how the game can end. Mm. Because you get fired, you can get fired, you can get done for corruption. Because like there's a bit where like a mafia boss will try mm. and like approach you. Yeah, will approach you, or like the government governor is like, put this under the table, don't talk about it. Mm. It's very fun and very like. Seems almost like a city builder, like kind of thing. Kind of. I'll, I'll show you what the kind of map looks like. But it's a very fun and like just. Is it anything like those, um, you know, the triple number operator games? 911, Kind of, yeah. But uh, you're pretty, it's a bit pretty much like that, yeah. Um, so you can't see this because you don't have it. So that's your kind of city there. So yeah. then you're, we're seeing a sort of 3D map of Isometric. New York. Yeah. So there you go. So that is all your like officers at the bottom, mm. and those are your calls that are coming in. Mm. You have to place people with each call, and sometimes you have to let a call go because you don't have enough people. Yeah. Or you might you might have like a detective you can send, and it's basically all down to you. And there'll be different between each day and night shift, or after each night shift, mm. you might get a thing from the gov the director of the police being like, you have to sack these people. Yeah. Or you, and you have the option op- 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 not to or continue. You can run it on so budget. It's, right. It's like kind of like just like a choices matter kind of. Yes. Yeah. But you you but your cho- you could think you're doing the right choice and then two times later you can all go to shit because there's yeah. a hostage being taken and you've sent right. old man Vicar who's ninety year old and is just <laughs> he's two weeks from retirement yeah, and you've sent him into an open gunfight and he's just <laughs> he can't and he two seconds later you're like. Yeah, old man Vicar's dead. <laughs> <laughs> How much control do you think you have over the situation, or do you feel like it is basically entirely down to luck of what I, like event gets triggered? I think most of it. I think the opportunities that arise is luck. Mm-hmm. But I think in the opportunities, you do have the opportunity to resolve it peacefully, and very like. Because you, it can even get in depth where like the people are running away and you have the option to chase them, or chase them in your car. And if you were to chase them on foot, there's a chance of you losing them or getting killed. But if you chase them in the car, there's an option of also losing them. But you, there's less chance that you'll be the injured. Do you, so like if you go the corrupt route, your game just ends. Or no, can you, you can play, you can play the thing. whole thing corrupt. That's fun. Yeah. yeah, but you just have to like. Be wary because not to get caught. Yes, right. and then there'll be like police people who will be like, "Why have you done this? Or why have you not done this?" Like that. And then you have to like give an give an excuse. And there is like dialogue, and there's little like, it's like kind of comic book style like drawings, and each one has like voiceover, and it's like you the guy you're playing as like talks about his days, like his wife and I've left him, and he doesn't really enjoy his work. This almost reminds me of sixty seconds reatomized. Never heard of that. Um, I think the first one was just sixty seconds. It was almost like it was this um, 
It was a game where you had 60 seconds at the very start of it to gather supplies. Oh, like yeah, for your under bunker. Yeah, oh, yeah. Your family and water and food and medicine or whatever, anything you gather in 60 seconds. And then the rest of the game was based on your decisions, like how you managed yeah. your resources and how you, like, you had events that came up. And it's a bit like that. And but the, with this police, you have the option, you, you, you can make money each day. Sometimes you make more money than others. Mm-hmm. You have the opportunity to sack people and hire new people. And you can make people work double shifts. If you've got like six officers on the night shift and like 12 on the day shift, mm. you can get like six, you could make like six people work. So the well, day. you can plan out your shifts and your equipment like before the, the day starts. Yeah. yeah. But if you play, if you put piss, pick someone to a 24 hour shift, there's no way in hell that they're going to be able to work the next day. You also, you can also start a day with 12 people and you might get the opportunity for someone to phone up and be like, yeah, my cat's dead. And you have the opportunity to be like, come in, or you can be like, okay, just take a day off. Sometimes you back if you tell them to come in, bad things can lead to that. Like they get distracted mm. because their their cat's just dead. And now they they've lost it. Mittens. This um preparing for a day reminds me that there was a stalker bo- board game coming out. Ooh, what the hell? Yeah, um, involving dungeon runs and preparing your character before dungeon runs and deciding what equipment you take mm-hmm. with you and stuff. It, it seems kind of similar to like the D and D board game, um, in that you're running dungeons and just like gathering loot because of that. I'm not sure how fleshed out it is because of that, but there is news of a, a stalker board game. Oh, I kind of just want it just so I have the miniatures to paint. <laughs> <laughs> no, damn it. <laughs> you, you could just buy stalker minis, probably. Probably. You have a 3D printer. I would like a good board game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I would uh, like Monopoly. a Monopoly. <laughs> I don't want to play Monopoly ever again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's terrible. Really good. Movie. How many views did we get on that? Probably not many. Um, hundred board games is good. I mean, there's like tons of them, right? There's tons of video game based ones that you can get on Kickstarter. Yeah, but like those are rarely good. Mm. Yeah, there's a there's a Elden Ring one coming out. Ugh. <laughs> I tell like I there's some there's some really good games for. Oh my god, I'm being really terrible at this one. You got five views. Carcassonne is a good one. What? Carcassonne. It's a board game. There was a video game made of it. Mm. It's like you get a random set of tiles and you have to build like a kingdom. Yeah. And you're trying to build cities and claim cities against other players by basically completing the walls around the town. So it's kind of this game where you take turns placing tiles from a, a set of tiles that you have. Yeah. And you build out the kingdom, as I said. And you uh, you have to like connect different regions by road to get more points, uh, or like the pop the size of the cities you create get more points. It's an interesting game. Mm. I think it's expensive though. Probably most of them are. Yeah, most board games are pretty expensive. Most games are pretty expensive now. Well. Yeah, yeah, but board games are for some just more expensive. Right. Should we go to bed? Yeah, we you know we'll curl up, sleep under the the valleys. roaring fire. Oh yeah, well, we could climb. Well, no, if we cross the barrier, the little line that buzzes if you step over it, you get an electric shock. Oh, I've never tried that. You want to try it? No. Precisely. <laughs> it's the fear of punishment that stops you from committing. I'm not that crime. afraid. I just don't want it. <laughs> but the fire is there. Wouldn't the fire be nice? I mean, it's pretty warm from here. Oh, so this is the police too. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I've only played the first one. Now you've got to... Oh. I've got to play the first Join us in two weeks, one week time. The second one looks more intense than more things to do. For the season finale of The Latency Lounge Season 2. Yeah, we'll be playing, I don't know. Valheim, probably. Yeah, or we'll <laughs> play Fallout New Vegas randomised. Oh yeah, we did a stream of that ages ago that still isn't the well, highlights aren't out because I mean, that's fine. editing takes fucking ages <laughs> that's alright no worries we'll just play it again man <laughs> and I won't get quite as drunk oh uh, yeah you held it together it was New Year you were treating yourself yeah sure. yeah
Right. Bye bye. 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 At least for.